I want you to know, is there any sort of motion capture reference you used for any one or anything? Like, did you have Emma Thompson act out her bear part? No. No, no motion capture no. whatsoever. No motion capture whatsoever. No, we, we do all original animation. Um, what we do use Emma Thompson for is when, when she's recording, we'll put a little camera in and just to, to show her emotiveness. And she gets great expressiveness, particularly for this part of her face. <laughs> Amazing forehead work. So we'll look at that and, and be inspired by it and maybe get ideas that we don't actually capture. And then, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hi, so uh, the film starts out and it's about a princess who doesn't want to get married, which is a very modern take on it. And then her mother turns into a bear, so that's a little wild. Uh, it, it actually kind of reminded me of The Emperor's New Groove, where a very different story evolved into the story of a character turning into an animal for the benefit of that film. Uh, so could you talk about how the story evolved and where the bear aspect can influence? Cool. Uh... I think the bear aspect, there's, there's all these things in, in Celtic mythology about transformations into animals. Um, so that was something that we pulled from to put into the film. Um, we knew we wanted this relationship between this parent and child, this, this mother and daughter, and by making them a queen and a princess and royalty, you have this very traditional society that she wants to break with and find her own sense of person. So by having her mother kind of, i.e. society, be in her way of what she's not ready to accept yet, you know, she gets, you know, a little selfish and she gets desperate. So that advent of magic in the story was there so that she can, we can illustrate visually the consequences of a mistake, you know. She just wanted her mother to change her mind but the spell goes totally bad and she gets more than she bargained for. Um, but also that, you know, in the great traditions of folk tales, it's breaking that dynamic that puts us in a situation where people can actually see their true selves and what everything's <coughs> really about. Yeah, particularly and, when, you, yeah. when you're able to make, uh, make mommy, we turn somebody into an animal, they're mute, you know, they can't talk and they, you know, you've got a, a core issue in this movie, they don't listen to each other, somebody can't talk, all they can do is listen and that's part of that character development as well. Yeah. We're the front. First of all, I want to congratulate both of you, superb job, I mean, just when you think you can't go any higher with raising the bar, Pixar does it. Now, There's a trick to that. We well, just kind of move the bar around <laughs> at that same level. So think more like a circle. So now, in order to take filmmaking to an entirely new level, what were some of the primary elements that you were concerned about paying attention to in order to achieve more of the texturization and the characterization that you see here? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the look in particular? In, particularly in the look and the, and the characterization. It, it is all research, research, research. Every Pixar film, you know, we do our research. In our case, we went to Scotland twice and we went way, way deep in. You know, we, we touched everything. We stole Heather from right next to us. You know, we, uh, we, we smelled, smelled into the skies and, and talked to locals and heard the rhythm of the language. All that was really important. Sketching, drawing, photograph, video brought it all back and, and looked at it in Emeryville, California and, and tried to create this world that was very much hand in hand. Like Meredith says, um, our, you know, uh, the land is much a part of us as we are of it. We really wanted this character in the movie of Scotland. It would not work, uh, this movie, you know, wouldn't work on, you know, a neighborhood on Hollywood Boulevard. You've got uh, that tie to the land and the ruggedness of it and, and the changing this and the change of it. You've got a diverse landscape, which is a place where change happens.